In this video, you will learn how to use GeoGebra to locate the center of a given circle. On the drawing pad is Circle C. We will be finding the center of Circle C. First, we need to create a chord which has a line segment whose endpoints are on the circumference of the circle. Select the Segment Between Two Points tool and click on any two points on the circumference of Circle C. This creates points C and D and line segment CD, labeled as lowercase a. The perpendicular bisector of any chord passes through the center of the circle, so we will construct the perpendicular bisector of line segment CD. Select the circle with center through point tool and click first on point C, then click on line segment CD more than half the distance from point C to point D. This creates point E and circle D. Select the compass tool and click first on point E, then on point C. Place the circle centered at point D. This creates circle E. Now select the line through two points tool and click both intersections of circles E and D. This creates points F and G and line FG labeled as lowercase b. Line FG passes through the center of circle C because it is a perpendicular bisector of CD. To find where on line FG the center of circle C is, create another chord on circle C with the segment between two points tool. This will create chord HI. The perpendicular bisector of HI will intersect with line FG at the center of the circle. Create the perpendicular bisector of segment HI. This will create circles G and H, points K and L, and line KL labeled as lowercase i. Since both lines KL and FG pass through the center of circle C, their point of intersection must be the center. Use the New Point tool and click on the intersection of lines KL and FG. This point, M, is the center of circle C. Because GeoGebra is dynamic, we can see what happens when we adjust various elements of the construction using the Move tool. Moving points C and D will adjust the length of line segment CD. Moving points H and I will adjust the length of line segment HI. Note that adjusting these two line segments changes the slope of their perpendicular bisectors, but does not change their point of intersection. Moving point E will adjust the radii of circles D and E, and moving point J will adjust the radii of circles G and H. Note that if point E is moved to less than half the length of line segment CD, then circles D and E will no longer intersect. This is also true of point J and line segment HI. This is why it is important to create the circles with radii longer than half the length of the line segments. Click on the yellow arrow in the upper right hand corner to undo the previous action, and point E moves to its previous location.